how you put on these socks and miraculously <coughs> you, you change the way you're planting your foot. What I noticed was there may be something to it in the sense that when they've done pictures of me running, I run with shoes on the way they show the barefoot runner running with the sock or bicycle. I run off my forefoot, off the outside, I'm up on my toes. And so there may be something in terms of the shock absorption. And I base that on the fact that you asked me about my feet, and I didn't want to go into it, but I won't have to. I have terrible feet. My feet are awful. I've had to tape and, and put pads and everything else on my feet from the time I started running in high school. I have awful feet. The Japanese, the ASICS people used to take all these pictures do the stuff with my feet. And the first thing they would do when they saw my feet was say, how can you run with feet like that? <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I think what I had to do to protect my feet, I had to learn to be very light on my feet. All right, I hope you're following me here. And when they measured the, back when they started to do measurements on us, you know, to find out, you know, why we have to be good at what we were doing, in the 70s, they, they have a simple pad called the friction coefficient pad. And you come and you just run on the pad. And what it does, it measures the amount of force down versus the amount of force you're able to carry forward. And two people, Lassie Barron and I, had the lowest friction of coefficients they'd ever measured. For some reason, we could both be very light on our feet. I think that I had to learn to be light on my feet because my feet were so terrible, you know, because they hurt. And, and so I run the way they say the barefoot runners can run. That having been said, I'm not sure you can change, you know, habits that you've developed since childhood that drastically, that quickly. And I base that on the fact trying to come back from this hip has been very, very difficult with regard to now this leg is slightly longer than it was. I had to learn to put pads and raise this foot up. I'm dealing with all these biomechanical issues. And I'm thinking, I'm just relating it personally to the barefoot running issue. Changing your biomechanics that much that drastically, I'm thinking about what kind of long-term things are going to happen here. So I'm, I'm more cautious about it. And then finally, which used to be my first reaction before I really started to think about it, historically, we have a historian in the back row, a baby Bakila, arguably the best marathon runner in history, won the 1960 Olympic marathon running barefoot. Yeah, yeah, okay. In 1964, he won, the he won the Olympic marathon again, repeated as champion, wearing running shoes, and ran four minutes faster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 